post-concussion syndrome itself is just simply uh, post-concussion symptoms that last greater than a month. Um, and the great majority of people with post-concussion syndrome are going to have those symptoms clear up within a year. Rarely we have people that go several years with post-concussion syndrome symptoms and even more rarely there are some people that they just never entirely go away. If the symptoms go away as for the majority of people fairly soon, uh, is that the end of the problem for someone who suffers a concussion? Well, it may be the end of the problem if they don't have more concussions. And if they do have more concussions, then obviously concussions can be cumulative over time. But it's very important to understand that not all concussions are created equal. And just because you've had three concussions as compared to somebody else that's had two, that you're worse off. Or because you've had three concussions, if you get a fourth or a fifth or a sixth, it's necessarily going to be greater than the second or third, because that's just not the reality. The story I like to tell is Patrice Bergeron, who was a patient of ours for his three concussions. His first one, he was symptomatic for four and a half months because he took a horrific hit that shattered the glass around the rink. Or the second concussion, he was symptomatic for two weeks and was only out one month. With that first concussion, as I said, he was out four and a half months. His third concussion, which were years apart, fortunately, um, he was symptomatic four days and was playing within 14 days, within two weeks. So each concussion he had was more minor than the one before it. His fourth concussion may or may not be more minor than his third. But this concept that concussions necessarily are consecutively more severe is an erroneous one. It's also erroneous to talk about concussion number without knowing the severity of the concussions. Because a concussion that has symptoms that lasted months, like his first one, it cost him a season. He was not able to come back that season because he um, had so prolonged symptoms and then it was not safe to immediately let him get back. Um, so each concussion is unique in assessing somebody's number of concussion or their risk for returning. You need to understand fully the severity of the concussions. The number of them is important. The proximity of them is important. But most important is the severity. And if people have symptoms from a concussion that are progressively lasting longer and longer with each significant subsequent concussion and the actual blows that are producing the concussion paradoxically become less and less that's the situation where you're not going to let a person go back